Okay guys, welcome back to the second channel. Yeah, because I wanted to upload a quick tutorial to this channel. I noticed a minor problem with this device when I booted up. It's not a big of a deal, but you need to know how to fix it. So if you don't have the boot up for the Botasera Linux, highly possible that you're going to need to use a keyboard and mouse. Mouse is more like an extra thing that makes it a little bit more convenient. But in the end, the keyboard is the most important thing because you need to get into the BIOS. So when booting it up, we're going to plug in the mouse and keyboard before we're going to do that, of course. Next up, what we're going to do is power on the system. And you need to be very quickly because we need to press a button. The faster way, be quickly by pressing F7. This means when you're pressing this, we're giving the commando to the BIOS that we're going to have more like this. Please select your boot device or the quick menu. Here we can enter the setup and here we're going to get the option to boot up Windows. As you can see with my version, Windows is uh, the first boot up and that's the reason why I didn't boot up in Linux. But what we're going to do, we're going to choose enter setup. Now we're going to get into the BIOS. What we're going to do, we need to go to the boot method. And the reason why, because we need to say to the machine that it needs to boot up the priorities like the first one needs to be the linux partition so we're going to set up like boot option number one we're going to set it to not windows because this is the method how it was because otherwise it would have boot up into windows all right so we need to choose the different one the other eos basically the two terabyte that's inside the machine okay go back save and quit and that's it. So if you have done this and the next time you will boot it up, then we don't have the problem that we boot up in Windows 10 because with Windows 10, it doesn't do anything else than just boot up Windows 10. So if you set it up to the Bodasera boot up and you just want to do a boot into Windows 10, of course, you can use the F7 key, boot up into Windows quickly and don't change out the boot sequence. It's all up to you. I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit the bell, become one of the Wicked family. And if you want to see the refill review, go check the main page.